Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you which set I would love them to return to. This is something that we recently drafted. I think in December 2015, the boxes were still relatively cheap. Yes, you have uh, Sensei's Dividing Top, which wasn't uncommon and was before the reprint, so that was kind of expensive. Other than that, the cards or the boxes to get a sealed box of these are not that expensive. Uh, compared to other seal boxes, especially around the same age. Now, this set was one of the most terrible sets in all existence. Um, I remember drafting it, I remember playing it in high school. Uh, we, I was just able to drive, so I think it was like 16, maybe I was 16 or 17, and I went to the mall. Again, I purchased most of my cards from Radio Shack or GameStop uh, when they used to carry Magic cards, and they had a deal for like boxes of these when no one wanted them. Uh, the trailers was a terrible set. I remember drafting it and thinking, oh my gosh, this set is like, it doesn't make any sense. Like what, what's going on? But uh, definitely Champions was a lot of fun. I think what happened was the legendary creatures, We've I've always kind of assumed they would be very good, but then everything was a legendary creature in this set. And one of my friends, Brandon, he was going to make he had a binder of every single legendary creature up to that point, including the really expensive ones from Legend. And he just gave up after this set. It was terrible drafting the set. I cannot uh, try to explain to you how bad it was. You have to draft it because none of it was cohesive. You couldn't make an archetype because that just didn't exist in this format. Now you might, Betrayers was probably the worst of the sets. Saviors I actually really enjoyed because I love the Kinrin, uh, Celestial Kinrin, Inferno Kinrin, and I named my uh, MySpace page after, I think it was the Skyfire Kinrin uh, back when we had MySpace. Uh, Champions was, I mean, I had a lot of good experience with Champion because I didn't know better. Champion was the first of the block, then uh, Betrayers, then Saviors. Saviors was, I liked it, my friends really didn't like it. And the reason that we should really go back to an Asia or Asian theme uh, is because they didn't do it correctly the first time around. This, if you ask people who played during this set uh, how it was, they would probably tell you I almost quit magic because of it. And a lot of my friends did quit magic uh, in high school because the set was just really, really difficult to draft, really difficult to collect. Um, and it didn't really add any, standard was horrendous. Um, they opened a Wizard of, of the Coast store in my mall, and I remember going to standard and seeing no one there during this block. So I would love for them to redo it, uh, mainly because I think they have learned a lot from this time, and they can definitely do a much better job. I mean, champions, you had the dragons, and the dragons were fun. Saviors, you had the Kinrin. Betrayers, you had all those ninjas and stuff. But the set just didn't make sense as a you know one, as a block, and it didn't make sense as a set, like you know individual sets. So I really do wish that they would redo it because I feel like that would be a great return to Kamigawa. Would be really really awesome to do. Anyway, and that's the set I would be most excited to go back to because I had such I don't have very high expectations of it. So anything as long as it's not like reprints of exactly the identical cards would be better than what I experienced in high school. Bye guys.